Quantitative assay results will come from a standard curve generated by serial diluting the supplied standard. Your standard curve generation protocol may differ depending upon the multi-bead assay you are performing, so be sure to consult your protocol and assay layout document for specific instructions. For this demonstration, we will prepare the standard curve used in our Aplex information kit. To prepare your standard curve, first reconstitute the lyophilized standard cocktail one vial with 250 microliters of extracellular assay buffer one and gently vortex. Wait for five minutes, then vortex again. This solution now contains 100,000 picograms per mil of each cytokine. Standard cocktail two, which is used for the acosinoid being evaluated in this particular multiplex, contains 200,000 picograms per mil of each acosinoid, PG2, and TXB2. It is not lyophilized and comes ready to use. Now, label seven tubes number one through number seven to correspond to the seven standards that make up your standard curve. Pipette 850 microliters of extracellular assay buffer one into tube number one and 400 microliters of extracellular assay buffer one into the tubes numbered two through seven. Next, add 100 microliters of the reconstituted standard cocktail one and 50 microliters of the standard cocktail two to tube number one. Vortex the contents thoroughly. Standard tube number one now contains 10,000 picograms per mil of each cytokine and a cosinoid and will serve as your high standard. You will now serial dilute this high standard by a factor of three, repeating six times to generate the full standard curve. To do so, add 200 microliters of the contents of tube number one to tube number two and vortex thoroughly. Change your pipette tip and add 200 microliters to the contents of tube number two to tube number three and then vortex thoroughly. Continue with this procedure for the remaining tubes four through seven. You now have a complete standard curve to be used in your multi-bead assay.